All right, step one. Fill the black bucket with halfway full of water. Check. Step two, fill your two liter bottle um, with water all the way to the top. Place the cap on it. You're gonna invert the bottle. You're gonna place it inside the water so that the mouth is underneath the water. And then you're going to leave it like that until you're ready to load the oxygen gas. So we're going to have our 10% hydrogen peroxide that we've measured out. We're gonna pour that into our Erlenmeyer, our 125 milliliters. We've already done step number six, which is putting the weigh paper on the balance and measuring out 0.7 grams of potassium iodide. The next step is to make a package. So you're gonna fold the weigh paper so that it creates a package around the potassium iodide. You're gonna take the cap off of the bottle while the mouth is still underneath the water. You don't wanna let it out because you'll have air bubbles coming up to the top. And if you have air bubbles coming up to the top, that's no good for our rocket. Now you're gonna take the rubber tubing and feed that into the mouth of the two liter bottle. Again, keeping the mouth under the water. Notice no air bubbles up here. You're gonna take your package, drop that into your hydrogen peroxide and then cap it with the stopper. At this point, you can shake it up some so your potassium iodide can react with the hydrogen peroxide. You should see some bubbles starting to form. So you can see the oxygen gas forming in the bottle. pretty much it okay all right so you're going to continue collecting oxygen gas until you have no more bubbles coming out so the reaction is stopped notice you'll have about a third of the bottle filled with oxygen gas next we're going to remove the rubber tube from the rocket bottle again keeping the mouth in the water then we're going to replace the cap again keeping it under the water And at this point, now you can invert it back, dry it some and label it and put it where your teacher has told you to place it. All right, so day three, you're gonna fill the bucket back up with halfway with water. Then you're gonna get your rocket from yesterday and you're gonna place it into the water, invert it mouth down into the water, and then you're gonna leave the cap on until you're ready to fill it with the hydrogen gas. Okay. To fill with hydrogen gas, we're going to take um, our Erlenmeyer flask, we've already filled it 75 milliliters with tap water. We've already measured out um, the appropriate amount of calcium that we calculated in step two of the pre-lab questions, and we added 0.3 grams extra to it. We are now ready to take the lid off. Remember, keep the mouth of the rocket inside the water. Feed our tube just like we did yesterday while our mouth is still submerged. You may get a couple of air bubbles that go in with that, but should be fine. And so I'm ready to go. I have everything ready. We do not need to create an envelope like we did yesterday. We're just gonna pour the calcium from the whey paper into our water. And you need to immediately put the stopper in the flask. So I've got my stopper. We see some gas starting to form. And we're gonna pay attention to our gas in our bottle. We need to stop the gas once we start seeing bubbles come out from the bottom. It is filling up quickly with the hydrogen gas. When there is no more water in the, in the two liter bottle, you need to remove the tubing from the bottom. I can't really see. Oh, there's still water. I can see now. And remove. You you should see bubbles coming I out saw, from the. Yeah. There are some bubbles. Okay. And then we're gonna go in and cap that bottle whilst we're gonna lift the bottle up. 
keeping it the mouth down and then as soon as it gets out of the water you're going to immediately cap the bottle we don't want any water in there So make sure you keep your bottle safe since we do have an explosive mixture in there now.